We're in the middle of confirmation season. It's one of my favorite times. I'm blessed and honored to go to our parishes and to confirm our young people. It's one of my favorite things to do as a bishop, uh, to read the letters of the confirmandi ahead of time, to talk to them about why they chose the saint that they did, uh, to anoint them, to pray over them, to realize that in this moment the Holy Spirit is filling them with his sevenfold gifts, that they can live their faith as a fully initiated member of the mystical body of Christ. I always emphasize the point that confirmation is not an ending or a graduation. It's not simply the termination of religious education classes, but really it's the beginning of the fullness of life in Christ. So we don't confirm young people so they disappear. We confirm them so that they become even more visible in the life of the local church. And I always emphasize the point that um, that means coming to Mass every Sunday and Holy Day, praying every day, going to confession regularly, a living the life of the church, a being a young person of virtue. I'm inspired so often by the letters that I read and the young people I meet in confirmation, and we pray for all of them that all of those confirmed this spring will remain alive and active in Christ and not allow their faith to fall into a dormancy, but rather be a source and an instrument of renewal for all of us as we renew our own confirmation, our own baptism, and continue to live the implications of the whole Christ event. So please join me in praying for all of our young people who are confirmed this spring, that the Holy Spirit will truly anoint them and equip them to go forth and live their vocation to discover what it is that God wants them to do. We pray for our young people. They're up against a lot of hard battles in our culture, and yet so many of them are straight on for Jesus. And for them, we give thanks and praise.